And a live look outside from Sandia Peak, still waking up to quite a bit of cloud cover out there, so obscuring that beautiful sunrise that we're usually uh, used to at this time of the day. And we're actually tracking a few of these isolated showers and even a few of these uh, embedded thunderstorms, tracking a few lightning strikes out there. A lot of this activity moving from the south and west up to the north and east, even right here in the Albuquerque metro area. But we're starting to see some of these showers now moving across the Sandia, the Manzano Mountains, kind of approaching Edgewood, the northern sections of uh, Estancia and then also pushing into parts of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains and also the southern portions of the Hemis Mountains. But we're going to be tracking more showers and thunderstorms, especially as we go into the afternoon hours. But it's because of the cloud cover and also some of those easterly winds out there at about 15 miles per hour. We are waking up on the mild side this morning. We have the upper 40s to low 50s in Las Vegas and Santa Fe, 63 degrees right here in Albuquerque. But those winds will be cranking up this afternoon ahead of that area of low pressure situated just to the west of us and we will see some of those winds gusting around 35 to 40 miles per hour from the metro and then down into the boot hill of New Mexico so really not an ideal day to do any of that outdoor burning and then on the other side of the system with that severe weather threat we're going to be dealing with flood watches from noon until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning heavy rain with flash flooding will be possible because this area over the last five to seven days has been inundated with quite a bit of rainfall all right for today we're still looking at that high fire threat southwest and across central portions of the state with severe storms and flooding across the eastern plains. And there's that severe weather threat by the Storm Prediction Center, a slight risk. Uh, for some severe storms from Clayton down towards Tucumcari and Clovis, including Roswell, Carlsbad and Hobbs, with the main threats being some large hail damaging winds. And of course, we certainly can't rule out a few of those isolated tornadoes still heating up in the southeast today with highs in the lower to middle 90s in Roswell and Carlsbad. We'll leave in that 30 percent chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms with breezy to windy conditions. Magdalena, you're at 79 this afternoon. Socorro at 89 to your sea at 88 and up in the northwest temperatures in the middle to upper 70s in Cortez and Durango. Farmington, you're at 81 this afternoon with a 20% chance for a few isolated storms, although I do think the vast majority of those will be up in the higher terrain across the San Juan Mountains. Chama, you're at 70 today with the Red River in the mid-60s. Windy in Santa Fe this afternoon with a high of 77 and a 40% chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms. Clayton, you're at 79 this afternoon. Tucumcari in the low 80s, again with that potential for more of that severe weather this afternoon and into the evening hours. East Mountains, mid 70s to upper 70s. Berlin, you're at 87. And then right here, Corrales, we're at 87. Rio Rancho at 85 with a 30% chance for showers and storms. Also windy today with some of those winds gusting at about 35, 40 miles per hour, drying out slightly on Thursday with that high of 81. And then by Friday, we're still talking about a 10% chance for a few showers and storms.